Hey guys. So wow, how about those games yesterday, huh? Woo! Talk about separation Saturday. You know, you had a few, a few games in the top 25, and then you had some teams who lost to some unranked teams. I think we had five teams in the top 15 go down yesterday. Um, and that's going to happen when you have a few games in the top top 10, top 15. You know, you had, had Alabama uh, beat LSU. That was a two versus a four. And you had TCU versus Oklahoma State. That was another one. And then we had Florida State and Clemson. That was another ranked one. So the teams that were in the top 15 that went down were LSU, TCU, Florida State, Michigan State, and Memphis. Now, starting out with TCU and Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State absolutely boat raced TCU. I mean, right from the beginning, TCU did not stand a chance. Now, we were, we were talking about all year, you know, they've been saying, what's going to happen when TCU faces somebody who has somewhat of a good defense? And they struggled yesterday. They couldn't, they couldn't get anything going. You know, Boykin didn't have his best game, and then you have Doxon who went down in that game, but Oklahoma State just absolutely manhandled that defense, and TCU does not have a good defense. So, whenever they get in a shoot, shootout, and that pretty much happens with them every week, they get in a shootout, you know, one of these times they're going to, it's going to come back and haunt them, and they're going to lose, and that's what happened yesterday. They met their match. They still got a couple tough games left. They still got to play Baylor. They still got to play Oklahoma. Baylor still got to play Oklahoma. They still got to play Oklahoma State. And Baylor and TCU, they play each other. So, you know, a lot to be decided in the Big 12. I think it's going to come down to the Oklahoma Oklahoma State game, last game of the season. That is going to be a dandy. So we will see what happens with that. But then you had Florida State, who I picked to beat Clemson, and we all know how that went. Clemson beat Florida State. You know, it looked like Florida State was going to run away with it in the beginning. Dalvin Cook has a 75-yard touchdown on the second play of the game. And then they had a, another good drive going. They only got a field goal out of it. So they got out to a 10 nothing lead quick. But that was pretty much it for their offense the rest of the game. Uh, it was all Clemson from there on in. And uh, so... Looks like Clemson's gonna go to the ACC title game. So, uh, you know, they're they're the new number one today in the top polls. So, but how about that Alabama LSU game? Wow, what a game by Alabama's defense. You know, I said this. The other day in my in my video on a Friday, I said that in order for Alabama to win this game, they gotta make Brandon Harris throw the football, you know, and take uh, Fournette out of the game. And boy, did they ever do that! Wow, LSU's Front seven is nasty. I think it's probably the best in college football. 
I mean, they got after them for, you know, Fournette had 31 yards. That's all he had, 31 yards. You know, it's funny. I was watching the game over at my buddy's house yesterday, and I was saying, you know, you know what? I'm going to make a prediction. I don't think Fournette has over 125 yards. You know, that's a lot of yards, but for him it's not because he can do that in his sleep. And, man, I was right. He didn't even get 50. Not 50. Man, they, they completely took him out of the running game. You know? Wow, I was so impressed with Alabama yesterday. They play like that. That defense plays like that. There's nobody that's going to beat them in the SEC. Maybe not even the country. There are some teams, you know, that can hang with them. I still believe Ohio State can hang with anybody when they play up to their potential. You know, Florida could hang with them, but they have to get uh, better quarterback play out of Trayon Harris. Um, do you go to an, uh, another quarterback? But I don't know what their quarterback situation is because Will Guerrero suspended. So if you're Florida, what do you do? Will you stick with Trayon? Because he hasn't done much since he came in. When Greer uh, got suspended, so yeah, a tough spot. You know, you're gonna, they're gonna have to work with Trayon and see what they can do with this kid, because you know they barely beat Vandy, barely nine seven. Well, you know, I say Alabama has the best front seven in college football. Florida's got the best secondary. So those defenses are both very, very good. I think, I say Florida could uh, keep up with Alabama because their defense is good enough for them to win games. They can shut down offenses. So, but, yeah, that was amazing yesterday. I was so impressed with Alabama's defense. Mm -hmm. So impressed, but uh, yeah, I was so impressed with Alabama's defense. And uh, and how about uh, Michigan State going down yesterday? Wow, did not see that coming at all. Nope, didn't see that one coming. They, they end up losing to uh, Nebraska, and then Memphis loses to Navy. But, you know, Michigan State, you know, past few weeks, like I said, they've been struggling against these teams to barely pull out victories, and, you know, finally caught up with them. So... Yeah, great, great day for college football yesterday. You know, I, I love college football. You know, I, I just, there's, to me, there's nothing like it. You know, I, I look forward to Saturdays, you know, waking up, watching college game day, seeing who Lee Corso is going to pick. Man, I love that guy. But, yeah, some, uh, Good, good games yesterday. Going to see some uh, good games next week. You know, SEC West is still not decided yet. You know, Alabama's got to play Mississippi State. Not going to be an easy game. Um, LSU, on the other hand, they still got to play A&M. And they got to play Ole Miss. So, you know, Alabama slips. You know, if LSU runs the table, LSU is right back in this thing. 
depending on what happens with LSU Ole Miss. So this is this is funny here, okay? Now let's say Alabama loses a game to either um, Mississippi State or Auburn, which that could happen. You never know. And LSU loses to Ole Miss. Ole Miss wins the SEC West because Ole Miss has the tiebreaker over Alabama and they would have the tiebreaker over LSU. But Ole Miss can't lose another game the rest of the year. That would mean they all would have to end the season on two losses. So, you know, uh, you know it's still a lot, a lot to be decided in the SEC West. It's not over. Far from over. But, you know, that's why I love the game, because you never know what can happen. Just like in any sports, though, anybody can be beat on any given day. You know, I've been... You know, a lot of people have been saying all year, you know, wow, LSU, they can't be stopped with Leonard Fournette. You know, you take a team that a lot of people say is one-dimensional out of that, out of their uh, toughest, out of their uh, toughest uh, spot, you're going to beat them. All right? So... Alabama took them out of their game. Took Leonard Fournette out of the game completely. Completely. So, I don't know, it'll be interesting. Big Ten. I think, well, Ohio State, they're in pretty good shape now with, uh, they're undefeated, okay. Um, Michigan's got two losses. Michigan State's got a loss now. So the Ohio State Michigan State game is gonna be is gonna be big. But basically, if Ohio State beats Michigan State November twenty first at eight o'clock, they will clinch. Now, they still got to beat Illinois next week. You know, no games are gimme in college football. So they got to go out there. They got to do work. You know, I was very impressed with Cardinal Jones yesterday. You know, a lot of people were saying, what do you do if Cardinal has a good game? Do you, do you keep him in the lineup or do you go to JT? I think you go with JT. I know he screwed up, but everybody screws up. You know, JT's having a great season. Buckeyes are offenses better with him, but I don't know. Those quarterbacks are both good. Both really good. So, if Ohio State beats Michigan State, they beat Iowa. I mean, not Iowa. Illinois, they'll probably clinch because even if they lost to Michigan they would only have one loss but I don't want them losing to Michigan they got to go beat that team up north but you know there's still a lot of football left you know it's not over yet baby we still got a few weeks left all the conferences still got to be decided big 12 SEC, AC, ACC's wrapped up, and then uh, Pac-12. So it's gonna be good. All right. Uh, yep. So the NFL, we had some good games today. Um, my Jets won. They did. They look good. 
defense needs to be a little better. Yeah, they, they did have a few takeaways today, but can't give up 100 yards to two wide receivers. So, you know, I was a little surprised with the Colts beating the Broncos, but that was a big win for them. They seem to play well against uh, Peyton Manning, the Colts do. So, um, yeah, but that's it for me tonight. I'll get back to you guys maybe uh, tomorrow or Tuesday. All right, you guys have a good night. Bye.